Okay. And I have a uh, good news, but uh, I don't want to say it in here. Okay, you can tell me after. Okay. Okay, everybody, welcome to another English class here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa, and in this hour, we're going to be listening to some country music and going over the words. <laughs> so this is a a type of uh, music that is pretty popular in parts of the United States, and so I thought it would be a good idea to introduce it to you. Um, it's not the most popular music from the United States, uh, but it's pretty popular in some parts. So I have the link to the video. I'm also going to see if it uh, works in the YouTube app, so I don't know yet. We'll have to see. But um, let's just say hi to everybody as people are coming in. So hi, Alexander. <laughs> Cute picture. <laughs> That's funny. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Is that your cat? Yeah. Oh, cute. <laughs> Very funny. Really? Do yeah. you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's funny. I, I know what you like. You like <laughs> these slippers. <laughs> ah, the slippers. Yeah, well, that's the part that makes it funny. Oh. <laughs> He's greeting you as well. Yeah, nice. What is do her name? Know? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know how it's going to... Um, uh, utter uh, in English, but uh, in Russia it's like uh, the mock, and I can't translate it. And in English it means, you know, like smoke. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice, cute. How old is she? Uh, you know, around 10 years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's pretty old. <laughs> yeah, okay, cute. All right, uh, let's say hi to Javier. Hi, Javier. Hi, hello. How are you? Hi, thank you. Doing Good. Great. Javier, where are you calling from? From uh, Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. And Mustafa, you're back. Okay. Good. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hi. And let's say hi to Santiago. Hi, Santiago. How are you today? Santiago, I can't hear you, so I don't know if you're away from your computer or if something's going on with your microphone. But if you if you hear me and you're talking, we can't hear you, so you can refresh your page, or maybe you're not there right now. Um, hi, Artem. Hi. Hi, welcome. Welcome to class. And hi, Anatoly, welcome. Hello, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys, this is um, another listening class with music. Um, I will s try to see if the video works here using the YouTube app. Um, for some reason, it, they really haven't been working. It might be because they're owned by you know somebody and you can't really play them, so I don't know. All right, so it's not going to work. <clears throat> I don't know why. Um, I is, think, uh, Lisa, it can yeah. uh, copyright uh, principles uh, from YouTube. <sighs> yeah, but that the purpose of the YouTube app, the way I understand it, is you should be able to do, you should be able to share it. Uh, um, but not uh, from uh, application. I mean, from YouTube website, there is no, uh, new uh, principles, so... These kind of videos uh, can be copyright uh, principles, mm. so maybe the website cannot uh, be allowed to watch these kind of things. Maybe that's true. I haven't yet understood why some work and some don't, but that maybe that's true. Okay, and so uh, I heard that uh, YouTube will uh, start uh, to uh, with money. Oh, start charging money for to watch. Yes, uh, for some uh, videos. Yeah, I know you can uh, watch movies through YouTube and pay, like iTunes or um, I, you know um, Google Play and that type of thing. So, okay, well, we'll see what how it works. So, the way we're going to do this then is I'm going to have you guys listen, uh, watch the video. It's about four minutes long, and so you can listen on your own. Now, before we listen, let me just explain some things because um, this is, is a little bit different than before. So the other songs that we've listened to have been more pop music. So they've been on the Billboard Top 100 uh, chart. 
Uh, this is also a song that's on the top 100, but it's for country music. Now, some of you guys may be familiar with country music, but uh, maybe some of you are not. <laughs> so how many people know about country music already from the United States? Has anybody ever listened to any country music songs? I don't, but I don't remember the uh, singers or songs. Okay. Somebody else said something? Yes, I said uh, I uh, listened to Johnny Cash, for example. Oh, yeah, Johnny Cash. He's very well known uh, from the past. Yeah, good. So, Johnny Cash, uh, you might have heard some country music like in uh, American movies or something, especially if the American movie is um, taking place like in Texas or somewhere in the, um, in the South. Okay, so in, in the ch in the South, that's where they usually listen to uh, country music. And I'll show you. I'm I'm getting a page ready here. Um, <clears throat> this is all just introduction to the song before we start playing the song. Hi, Ismail, welcome. So uh, this is the uh, let's see the country songs, the hot country songs, and it's here. Make me want it. So it's this guy Thomas Rhett. Um, I, I don't really listen to country music too much, and I didn't. I don't really know this person, but I wanted to give you guys some more uh, cultural information. You know, the United States is not just uh, pop music. <laughs> For example, we have lots of different types of music that people listen to, and this particular young guy here, uh, he has the number two song. Maybe it went up to number one. I don't really know, but right now it's the number two song. Um, that is on the country billboard charts. So, um, just to give you guys the idea, you can see the cowboy. So, country music has to do with that kind of lifestyle, you know, being a cowboy, being a cowgirl. Um, it kind of sounds a little bit poppy, but usually it has what we call a twang. There's, when you hear country music, you hear the word twang. Has anybody ever heard that word before? <laughs> What it means is the the quality of the voice, how they sing, and so strong. what, Mustafa? Strong sound, like. Uh, it's kind of more like if I if I talk like this, I'll say, "Hi, how you doing?" But if I talk with a twang, it's like, "Hi, y'all, how you doing?" Like that, you yeah. know. So it's it's the tone and it's the style of talking. It's like a twang, and um, it also is kind of the music. So when you have a guitar, uh, it makes a twing like that kind of a sound instead of just like you know like a rock guitar or something. So the word twang is related to country music, and it's kind of the style. And you're going to hear that style in his voice, which I think probably makes it difficult to understand what he's talking to. Um, if you really liked country music, of course, then you would like that style, and then listening to the songs over and over, you would get used to hearing that way of singing um, with his voice, the way he's saying the words. Um, but it's it's different. You're going to notice that it's different than just like the way Taylor Swift or, you know, Rihanna or somebody uh, sings, you know, normally. So um, this song is called Make, You Make Me, or it's called Make Me Wanna, I guess. Make Me Wanna. Now, oops, forgot the, I'm writing in the verbling chat, so if anybody can't see, just let me know. I can switch to the group chat. Just before we listen to the song, and somebody may have already listened to it before, but um, what do you think he's going to be talking about in the song just based on this title, Make Me Wanna? <laughs> anybody want to guess? I have some guesses. Okay, Alexander, what? Maybe it's um, like he uh, wanted to be turned on. Mm-hmm, something like that. Make me want to, yeah, to be turned on, which means what? Uh, uh, which means to be turned on? <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like to... <laughs> <laughs> it's like to want uh, you know, someone. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so um, I think I mentioned this last week. Uh, sometimes it's, 
you know, when you're looking for songs and, you know, really a big topic of pop music and even country music is uh, sex, you know, being turned on, being attracted to uh, somebody, um, you know, whether or not it's a woman singing or a man singing the song. A lot of the songs are about love and attraction and sex and having fun, you know, that whole kind of thing. And so it's a big theme with country music as well. It's not just pop or rock music. Country music has that same theme. So, yeah, so make me wanna. So um, when you're listening to it, think about that because that's in the chorus a lot. And when you know that, try to understand maybe some of the words that he's saying. He's painting a picture. And it's a very country, country style picture that he's painting. So we're going to talk about that in terms of the country lifestyle. And then uh, you might also want to think like, you know, is this a is a good song? Is this kind of a dangerous song? You know, what is it good for guys to be talking about this a lot? And uh, I will mention that later. So let's go now, and everybody can take uh, a minute, or actually four, four to five minutes or so to watch the video and you'll do it on your own uh, computer so you'll be able to listen to it and by yourself you can mute your microphone and um, it's uh, I'll give you the link here and then when you're done listening to it come back and then we're gonna check in with everybody to see what people could understand what do you think it's about you know what kind of words did he say that kind of stuff. So you'll have to watch a little ad first, I guess, 15 seconds, 20 seconds or something. Okay? So come back and tell me when you guys are done listening to it, and then we'll talk about the lyrics and the culture. Okay? Hi, Moises. We're watching. Hello. A, everybody's watching a, a video right now. <laughs> That's why it's quiet. Thank you. The, uh, the link to the video they're watching is in the group chat there. Okay. If you want to go ahead and watch it. Okay.
Let me know when you guys are done. Your smile, did you watch it? Yes, Lisa. Uh, okay. Up. Everybody, have you finished watching? I haven't heard from anybody except for Hamit. Okay, smell's done. Artem, you're done. Okay, finish. Yeah. Okay, good, Javier. All right, just want to make sure everybody has a chance to finish watching it before we start talking about it. Alexander, are you done? <laughs> I can start talking. Okay, <clears throat> all right, good. So, looks like everybody's pretty much finished. Before, um, let's just talk quickly about some of the words before you forget them. <laughs> uh, what kind of words could you understand? It doesn't matter if you couldn't understand very much. Just tell me some words that you could actually hear in the song. Uh, Alexander, what any words um, that you can hear? <clears throat> uh, sure. Um, um, you just uh, let me hold you and uh, something I didn't hear. And uh, if you something, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> um, let me hold your clothes, clothes. Clothes. Okay. Clothes. Yeah, you heard clothes. Um, don't look at me th uh, that way. Okay. All right. Actually, uh, I heard uh, <coughs> just everything, but now I <laughs> forget everything. <laughs> it's hard to remember. Okay, that's fine. We're just uh, writing a few words down. We're going to go over all of the lyrics in just a minute. Uh, Anatoly, any words that you heard? Uh, I heard uh, the title, uh -huh. Make Me Wanna, yep. at uh, uh, Radio uh, Baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah, always you baby. And <laughs> me and you, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, it is a lyric, a lyrics song uh, mm -hmm. when uh, a singer uh, song about uh, uh, just uh, relationships mm -hmm. and uh, how a life is good. I mm -hmm. think uh, it is a meaning, the main mm -hmm. idea. Maybe yeah. After we. I uh, read uh, lyrics. We recognize something new. Okay, great. Um, Artem, did you oh, uh, hear anything? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, I, 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 I just remembered one. <laughs> okay. Dr drinking you, not alcohol. Okay. Yeah, he said drunk on you. Ah, drunk on you. Oh. Without alcohol. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, Artem, what about you? Do you remember any words? Yeah, but uh, this one was already told. Okay, so you heard the same words. Okay, yeah. good. All right, Hamid, any other words maybe that you heard? Uh, girl, uh, you make me wanna. Uh, yes. <laughs> baby. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, common words there, yeah. <laughs> tr uh, truck. <clears throat> truck, yes, the truck is in there, and we see it in the video right there. <laughs> Trucks are yes. important. Trucks are important. We can, yes, we can uh, receive copies uh, from some things. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ismail, any other words that you heard listening to the song? Uh, no, I couldn't catch any sentence. Or, uh, okay, you heard that. some words, moon, cruising back. Okay, good. Javier, what about for you? Any other words maybe yeah, you heard? Sure. Uh, man on the moon, something like that. Man on the moon, yeah. On the yeah. Moon. And uh, 
I couldn't I couldn't get everything, but something like uh, slide on over or something like that. Ah, uh, slide on over. Yeah, slide on over. Good. Yeah. Uh huh. And limples or lumples or lim but I don't and know the word. So I can guess. I think you said dimples. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll explain that word. Okay. Good, Mustafa. What about you? <laughs> Maybe they come on all of it. <laughs> like <laughs> I have the last one. So yeah. I yeah, you, it, you heard this. Okay, good. All right, so uh, before we go over the lyrics, what can you guys tell me about the video? Now, what did, when you see this video, what do you think country music uh, lifestyle is like? So this is a, we call this guy like a country boy. How would you describe him and the setting of the video? What, what Alexander, what's one thing that makes you think uh, is related to the country Lifestyle. You know, it's like uh, fixing the car, <laughs> yeah, uh, dr uh, drinking alcohol. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, you know, wearing a, a tuxedo. Sorry, what? Uh, wearing a tuxedo. Okay, well, that's when it's he gets dressed official. up. Yeah, he gets dressed up in a tuxedo. That's, of course, you know, country guys might do that to get dressed up, but. The more day to day, we say, the daily life of a, a guy who's kind of you know likes country no, I, music. I, I would just say uh, the way how uh, how he mm, <clears throat> dressed up. Yes. Okay. Ismail, did you want to say something? No. No. no? Okay. Um, so Anatoly, what about for you? When when you see this video, uh, you know it's obviously showing a lot of images. What kind of images do you think are related? Kind of specifically to country music, not pop. It's not a pop music video, that's for sure. Mm. It is a, a country side <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, life and country side, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, the most uh, uh, main idea of mm -hmm. uh, which uh, uh, the author wanted to represent to audience. And uh, uh, very simple relationships, uh, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So everybody sees um, what Alexander already said is in the in the first in the first scene of the video. Um, he's work. We say working on his truck or he's fixing his truck. So that's a popular thing that guys who like to listen to country music. Many of them um, are very mechanical. They like to to do stuff like work on machines. Uh, maybe their trucks. You know, if you actually live in the country, you might even have a farm. You might have a tractor. So this is the kind of look. Also, um, Artem, can you describe what he looks like? Like what he's wearing here, and do you know those words? How would you describe his look right yeah, here? Yeah, he, he, he isn't very choosy in his clothes. So sometimes he wears dirty clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And yeah. Okay, good. So this is kind of like a simple, like you said, Anatoly, kind of simple guy. Uh, he has a baseball cap on there. He's got a beard and a mustache. He's got a white t-shirt, simple white t-shirt on, and the jeans. But he has like holes in his jeans, and yeah, they're kind of dirty or something like that. And so then he gets dressed up and that kind of thing. But the first part is really kind of the the country Look, the typical day-to-day -day country man, you know, like the the kind of guy who likes country music, and that's in the in the video we see he keeps changing, you know. So now he's a little bit uh, uh, cleaner. But what kind of shoes does he have on? Does anybody know what those are called? Those shoes he's wearing. Anybody? No. Boots. <laughs> It's cowboy shoes, right? Yeah, we call them boots or cowboy boots. So okay. that's that's part of the outfit, you know. Like if you're a cowboy or you're into cowboy music or country music, uh, you like to wear boots, okay? So that's that's true. And she's wearing uh, some kind of boots as well. So she's kind of like into country music as the the girl, you know, the woman who's kind of this country girl. And he's playing his guitar and stuff. So. Not just the lyrics are important because the lyrics are kind of repetitive. We're going to go over those in a minute. But in terms of culturally, what do you learn about like American 
culture, you're getting this sense of what does it mean to be a country boy, what kind of style, what kind of clothes do people uh, dress up in. And of course here when he's in his tuxedo, that's, you know, he's being like fancy. But then he goes back to who, who he really is, which is this, you know, down, we call it down home country boy. And what he really wants to do is just, you know, be with his girl, that kind of thing. So let's uh, go through the lyrics now. All right, so let's go to the top. All right, the top here. Uh, Hamid, why don't you read those first three lines of this song to us? Okay, uh, windows down, uh, country sound, FM on the radio, just me and you and the men on the moon, uh, cruising down some old back road. Okay, good. <laughs> what does it mean? All right, uh, let's see. Ismail, what do you think the first line means? Windows down, country sound, FM on the radio. It reminds me. Reminds me of my uh, teenage uh, uh, time. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Uh, in countryside, uh, usually teenager uh, get uh, their father car keys and uh -huh. uh, drive uh, around the street and uh, look for. Uh, girls, maybe <laughs> yes. they, they wanted to show off uh, to girls uh -huh. with, uh, with with a car. And uh -huh. during this time, usually windows uh, were down, uh -huh. and uh, you usually played a country a song on the FM radio. Mm-hmm, yes. And uh, you draw uh, around the street. <laughs> Good, excellent. Yeah, um, so, you know, unlike reading an article or a book or a story or something, songs often just give us words with images, and you really explained it really well, well Ismail. So it's exactly what the song is trying to get you to do, is to get an image of, like, when you were a young guy, okay? Cause he's, he's a guy talking here, he's singing, and he wants to just give you images of what it's like. <clears throat> so the windows down, like you're free, it's maybe the summertime, you know, that's when you have your windows down because it's nice and warm, maybe it's hot. Uh, country sound, it means the music that's on the radio, and FM on the radio. So in the United States we have FM and we have AM radio, and FM has more stations and mostly uh, all the music stations. The AM radio stations are mostly um, <clears throat> like talk show radio and, and news and things like that. So yeah, you, per you understood it perfectly. That's the image he wants uh, to give you. And so he says, just me and you and the man on the moon. Um, Javier, wh wh who is he talking about? Just me and you and the man on the moon. What is, what is that about? <clears throat> Okay, just you and me is the he and the girl. And yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just and me and you, his girlfriend or whatever, yeah. Somebody. And the man on the, the, man on the moon, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not sure, the man on, on the moon? And the man on, to be honest, I, I don't... Okay. Well, um, the man on the moon is a, a reference to this idea that, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but... Um, they think there are like faces on the moon. Has anybody ever heard of that? Like when you look at the moon like through a telescope or something and you focus in, some people think there's like a shape of a face, you know, mm -hmm. and they, and in English we call that the man on the moon. So it's almost like when the moon is out, the face is looking down at you, okay? okay. So it's a reference to that. So it's, so it's, again, an image that you uh, think of when you hear the words, just me and you, so just me, you know, he's feeling really good, just me and you, my girl, whatever, and the man on the moon. So nobody else, just those two people, and then the moon is shining and looking down on them. So those are, it's just like this, this universe that exists, just the, them, you know, nobody else, not thinking about anybody else. That's kind of uh, the idea there. 
Um, cruising, so in music, a lot of times we cut off uh, letters and sounds, especially the, the end sounds. Um, so, for example, this word is really cruising, cruising, which means like driving, driving down. So you're driving down or going down, but cruising is how you would say it if you're speaking. But in music, we just say cruising. So cruising down some old back road. Okay, Mustafa, what kind of image does this bring up for you? Cruising down some old back road. <clears throat> Cruising. I don't know what's cruising. It's driving. Driving, driving. his truck, yeah. Old back road. Mm, like, uh, uh, give him some uh, uh, dark, uh, dark memory or feeling. Um, no, actually, it's a it's a happy song. So he's happy. He's it's just him and his girl, and we. It's it sounds like it's nighttime because the moon is out. So it's the man in the moon there is looking down at him, and the image is that he's sitting, you know, next to his girlfriend, and he's driving. And when you say driving down or cruising down, it just means going going along. And so I wanted to show you kind of what the image might be. So this is like a back road. So if you're out in the country the countryside, out of the city, you're in the country, this would be like a back road. A back road is one that's uh, not the main road, so not very crowded, you know, especially something that looks like this. Um, you're out in the country and you're going down a road, but it's a very uh, quiet road, not too many people around uh, or nobody around. And, you know, it's summertime because the windows are down, they're listening to music. So it's kind of just like a, a fun time. Exactly what you said, Ismail, like maybe a teenager, young person, going out, picking up his girlfriend and going just to go have some fun, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And when you live in the country, you know, the countryside, there are a lot of back roads, roads that uh, are, off, we say, off the main road. So usually there's a highway going through somewhere, and that's the main road. And then you have the back roads, the roads that they might be paved, like this is paved right here, um, but it's usually just two ways, so one car going one way, you know, one car going the other way, and sometimes it's not paved. So we call this a dirt road or a gravel road. If it has little rocks on it, then it, that's like a gravel road. So that's the back road. So you get the image there of this, this these two people and... Uh, and what's happening for him? All right, so <laughs> Alexander, why don't you? Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, Alexander, what? Uh, why don't you read for us those three next lines there? Yeah, sure. Now, baby, don't. Now, baby, don't you look at me that way? Cause you know there is only so much I can take. Cause you make me want to. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Uh, Alexander, what is he saying here? Who is he talking to? Um, of course, to uh, like he's talking about his gir uh, girl girlfriend. He, gir yeah, he's girlfriend. He's talking to his girlfriend because he's yeah. telling her, "Don't you look at me that way." What does that mean? Don't look at me that way. Maybe like. Uh, like he, uh, she likes him. Yeah, yeah. So usually when two people like each other, uh, sometimes there's a certain way that one of them will look that kind of turns the other person on, just like you mentioned in the beginning, right? Like maybe she smiles a certain way or she kind of gives him a, a certain kind of look. And he's saying, don't look at th me that way. Because <laughs> that way, when you do that, Something happens to him. So, Anatoly, what's going on in these next two lines? <laughs> what's happening to him? Mm, I think uh, he is uh, uh, concentrating on the driving on the road. <laughs> 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 and uh, when he uh, looks, uh, when she uh, looks to uh, for him, mm -hmm. uh, lovingly eyes, mm -hmm. uh, it. Uh, this attract the uh, how it uh, he not concentrate doesn't concentrate on the uh, 
wrote on his everyday <laughs> life. Yeah. But uh, in the video uh, we could see that uh, I think uh, he's uh, just uh, posing uh, um, in front of her. Uh, mm. And uh, uh, he uh, wants to keep uh, the relationships uh, stable and uh, not uh, being involved in love constantly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah, we'll see about that. Then. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So he's telling, "Hey, don't don't look at me that way, cause." So again, um, in music, we cut down the words a lot. So this is because, because, uh, and sometimes you'll even see it written like this, because, uh, because you know there's only so much I can take. You know, it's like, I can only take so much, otherwise I'm going to want to kiss you or something like that, right? And that's where it breaks into the chorus. He says, because you make me want to, or you make me wanna, and this is what, he wants to do. This is what he wants to do. Uh, if he, if she looks at him in that certain way, like you said, in a loving way or like with a sexy way, or it, it might just all be in his mind too. If you're a young guy with a lot of hormones or something, <laughs> you might just be all in your mind. But he's he's having fun. And so, Artem, what do you uh, think this means? Read uh, first. Read those two uh, phrases right there, Artem. Oh, okay. Pull this track to the side of the road, so slide on over, uh, let me hold you close. Mm -hmm. So what does he want to do? Ah, okay, he, yeah. uh, I, now I understand he wants to stop his truck uh, on, exactly. the, on the side of the road, mm -hmm. uh, slide on over, I'm not exactly sure what is it. Okay, let me tell you. So, uh, so get an image in your mind, he's uh, driving the truck and then his girlfriend is uh, sitting next to him maybe and um, in the old trucks maybe I can get a picture here uh, in the old trucks with a, they have a what they call a bench seat maybe even the new trucks still have them so when oh, yeah. they look like that right and so if you're driving uh, he wants to slide so to move uh. Yeah. On, on, on his side, yes. Over to her. He wants to go over to where she is. Ah, and, okay. Yeah, exactly. And hold you close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to hug her, you know, hug her. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's, you know, when she looks at, you know, him that way, there's only so much I can take, which means, I you know, I can't keep driving if you look at me that way because what I really want to do is... Like you said, stop the truck. Pull when you pull over or you pull to the side of the road. That means you you actually move to the side and then you stop your car there. Uh, then he wants to slide over to hold her close. So he wants to you know hug her, kiss her, whatever. All right, and let's go to these next two. Hamit, read those next two. And I tell you everything I am thinking. Uh, hop on out and I'd let the uh, tailgate. Uh, Mm hmm All right. So what do you, what's the image that you're getting as you're reading those words? Uh, you can say uh, what uh, what I am what uh, I think about you. Mm hmm He wants to tell her. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, He speaks uh, with her, uh, and I don't know the second line. Okay. This is not okay. clear for me. Okay, good. All right, so, and tell you everything I'm thinking. So, yeah, that's pretty clear. He wants to just, you know, hold her close, hug her, talk to her. And then, you know, as he's getting more heated up, you say, uh, hop on out. So when you hop on out, it's like jump out of the car, like get out. Uh, the hop part just means, um, literally it means to hop, like a frog hops, you know, little jumps. But when you say hop on out, it means to get out out of the truck. So he wants to get out of the truck and let the tailgate fall. So the tailgate of the truck um, is the back part. So uh, lots of uh, guys who like country music, they drive trucks 
and this is the tailgate, this back part here, the part that says a GMC. He wants to get out of the truck and then let down, you know, let the tailgate fall. So that's called the bed of the truck. So when you have a truck, you have the tailgate, you let it down, and then you can put things in the bed of the truck. That's the back part. So he says, hop on out and let the tailgate fall. So there, he wants to get into the back of the truck with her. Okay, so it's getting serious now. All right, uh, Ismail, read those next three. Get drunk on you with no alcohol. If you don't stop, I am gonna, girl, you make me wanna. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to get drunk on her without alcohol, with no alcohol? Get drunk on you with no alcohol. If you uh, look at your girlfriend, mm -hmm. your uh, head uh, <laughs> is affecting like you uh, drink a bottle of uh, whiskey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I catch from this. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, to be yeah. drunk, uh, to be drunk on something, um, you don't have to just be drunk on a person. Or you know, of course, you could be drunk uh, with alcohol, but it just means when you feel really good, like you're drunk on your success. You know, like if you just won a, a soccer game or something, everybody's drunk on their success. It means just really happy. Okay, so if he's thinking about it, he's getting, he's thinking of maybe going in the back, and uh, we say. Maybe they're going to make out, okay? Make out means they're just going to kiss and hug each other. Uh, or maybe he wants to just, you know, have sex with her, basically. That's the bottom line. Uh, so he wants to get drunk on you. means I want to just have fun. I want to be happy, like you said. Yeah. He's head over heels. Yes, head over heels in love with her. <laughs> if he's not in love, then he's in lust, which means he just wants her. <laughs> Okay, so, and then again, yeah, as well, go ahead. If you don't stop, I am gonna, girl, you make me wanna. Mm -hmm. If you don't stop me, I am going to, girl, uh, what uh, do you want from me? Maybe uh, they are yeah. going to uh, have a relationship uh, yes. on the back side of the... <laughs> In the back of the truck, yes, that's a very uh, country boy thing to do. Okay. In yes. open air. <laughs> in the open Fresh. air at <laughs> night, exactly. In, the, in uh, some country road. Yes, yeah, so if you don't stop, I'm going to. So it's kind of like a warning, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not a rape, okay? So some, some people might not like this song because it's like, you know, does this girl, what is she thinking, you know? But... From the music video and the, the melody and the music, it's very upbeat. So it's really more like, I think what Ismail said, just capturing like a, a young man's or a young boy's spirit um, and, and how a young man can feel when he's with his girlfriend and when he's really young and he wants to just, you know, have a relationship with her and do that. So he says, if you don't stop, but he's kind of telling her like she's doing something. I'm gonna, girl, you make me wanna. So he's kind of telling her that, you know, what you're doing, how beautiful you look is making me wanna do this. All right. All right, so let's keep going on here. Uh, Javier, why don't you read those two lines and explain what you understand. Mm -hmm. You know better than to wear the dress, a yota be against the law. <laughs> what is he telling her? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, finally that she she looks really sexy, no, and really mm -hmm. cool, mm -hmm. and and should be bound to to be like uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, to be to be such a such a hot hot girl, yeah. Yes. Sexy. Or hot girl. Yes, and I you know I think some feminists might have trouble with this wording here because it's like you know. You know better than. Usually when you say you know better than, you're kind of uh, disciplining somebody like a child. Like, you know better than to do that. Shame on you. Something like that. But, again, I think he's trying to make it from a fun-loving kind of 
perspective, but it's a, a fine line there because he's saying to the girl, you know better than to wear that dress, that particular dress, like you said, that makes you look sexy or hot or something like that. It oughta. And so here, again, we have a slang kind of saying, just like wanna, gonna, that kind of stuff. It's really it ought to be. So ought oops, to, but we say oughta. Oughta be against the law. So exactly like you said, you know, they should ban women from wearing those kind of dresses because I can't control myself, all right? So uh, that actually happens in some countries. Okay. All right. Uh, Mustafa, what are the next two lines? Plain and sim simple. Uh, girl them dimples. Now know just how to turn me on. Mm-hmm. Mm, like, <laughs> like uh, the the dress is is showing off too lo too much. Maybe, girl them dimples. I don't know what this. Okay, no, I'll just, show you the dimples. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dimples are like this right here. That you see when she's smiling and she has that little kind of a, a little bit yeah. of a hole yeah. right there. Yeah, those yeah. are your your dimples. Those are called dimples. Dimples. And okay. so he thinks that's really cute. Like, you know, mm. when she smiles. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. she's cute. In the, uh, she's cute. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, just, uh, no, just how to turn me on, like uh, that's uh, that's give him the feeling to attract about her or something. Like yeah. yeah. To be excited, you know. Excited. Yeah. About about her wanting to to kiss her and that kind of thing. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right. Good. I think you guys are understanding this. It's not really too too hard to understand, but it's probably hard to hear him. Did you guys hear the twang I was talking about, the way he sang <laughs> the song? It's very twangy, that voice that he has. Um, Alexander. Yeah, you heard it? Okay. Alexander, read those next three, please. Now, baby, don't look at me that way, because you know there is only so much I can take, because you make me want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make me want to. All right. Um, so much I can take. Do you, how would you explain that, Alexander? Um, like another way to say the same thing. It's like uh, there is so much uh, I'm gonna do. Mhm. Mm well, there's so much I can take. Is like another word for that would be uh, to handle. Do you know that word to handle something? There's only so mm -hmm. much I can handle. Or yeah. Okay. Good. So, you know, you can't keep looking at me that way because if you do, I'm going to... And then it just goes back into the chorus. So he's going to do the same thing. Uh, all right, so let's skip the chorus and let's go to these next three lines here. Uh, Anatoly, why don't you read those? Mm -hmm. You make me want to wake up with you in the bed of my truck and start over again uh, when the sun comes up. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. what what is that image that we get? <laughs> what are they gonna do? Uh, image uh, they are in the truck. Mm -hmm. uh, they are sleeping there, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they want uh, to be there all their life. Mm. <laughs> yeah, or at least. All night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, before before the sun comes out. Two times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so yeah so you know so the image is he's driving along with his girlfriend in the truck down a back country road and she has the pretty dress on and she's looking at him smiling and he's like going crazy and so what he really wants to do is just kind of go pull over the truck start making out with her and then go to the back of the truck and then wake up with you so that tells us he wants to spend you know sleep you know <laughs> so they want to sleep together in the bed of my truck that's where I showed you the back the back of the truck and start over again so begin the day again the next day when the sun comes up so that he means he wants to spend the night with her sleeping with her in the back of his truck that's a very cow, uh, country boy thing to do, <laughs> okay? To use your truck like that. All right, so again, 
uh, the chorus, the chorus, and then the last part, again, the image of the windows down, country music playing on the FM radio. Okay, so it's a pretty simple song. A lot of the same uh, chorus gets sung about three different times. Um, what do you guys uh, think about this and uh, country music? What kind of image does this give you about country guys and boys and, and music? <laughs> uh, the yeah. country music. Country yeah. guys are very dangerous. <laughs> the guys are dangerous. Uh, how are the city boys in the West? <laughs> <laughs> I would say they're the same. <laughs> they just don't have trucks. <laughs> they are using different methods, maybe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right. Instead of track, uh, Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Lamborghini. Oh, I don't know. Okay, Artem, what did you want to say? I uh, would like to tell that uh, I think that it's very good uh, music, for example, uh, for journeys when you're going somewhere mm -hmm. long uh, in your car. And uh, it's um, I like this music. I listen sometimes is, is it uh, in uh, games, uh, mm -hmm. in American games, mm -hmm. and and uh, it music uh, can uh, relax you also. I think. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, okay, good. Now, um, Artem, do you he hear, does anybody ever hear country music on your own radio stations? Or how no, would, no? We have, in Russia, we haven't got it. No. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. So, do you hear it just like on the internet or something? Yeah. Yeah. I, I say sometimes listen to it in, in the internet, but. Um, you know, in very famous game, uh, Grand Theft Auto, and uh, this music is is very common. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, like I said, if you look, you know, if you look at a, a map of the U.S., um, you know, the music is known to be from the South, kind of. So Texas is a really big state. Lots of cowboy culture. Not everybody, of course. Don't get me wrong. Not everybody, uh, but lots of people, guys with trucks. This is where the people like to have their guns. Uh, they like maybe you know football, baseball, that type of thing. Um, barbecue. These are some kind of stereotypical things that are known uh, for country music, like you know having a beer after work, something like that. So a lot of people who like um, country music. We call them kind of like working class people. You know, working class people who maybe work in a factory at an oil rig. Um, you know, sometimes farmers, of course, farmers, people who work on farms. Um, but uh, that's usually the type, the type of people. And it could be in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Kansas, all right here, the South and the Midwest. That's really where most of the country music happens. If you know Tennessee, maybe you've heard of Tennessee, that's where they have the, the Grand Ole Opera. That's called the country music where, you know, if you want to become a, mu a country music star, that's where you go, to the state of Tennessee, because lots of things happen there. And if you know Taylor Swift, she actually started out singing uh, country music, and she became really popular. Um, by age 14 <laughs> and then she kind of uh, switched over we call it switching over so when you when you are famous in one kind of music first and then you try to enter another music scene uh, that's called a switch over so she's now very popular in the pop music scene and here's something this, I just thought was interesting when you uh, when you look at these guys and see what they, how did they become country music singers or something. So he tried a lot of things first. He did some other kinesiology, business, anatomy. He didn't really think about music, but he couldn't get it out of his mind, I guess, and so he just needed to, to do it. So uh, pretty good. He's pretty successful uh, so far. Um, does anybody else know any other famous country music singers? Uh, let's see. Anatoly, you said Johnny Cash. Right? Yes, yes. I, I saw a movie. Uh -huh. uh, I, I walk the line, the title mm. of this movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I walk I walk the line. Mm 
Yes. And uh, uh, I uh, liked uh, this movie because they uh, perform uh, in that movie uh, mm -hmm. country music, old country music in, in modern uh, transcription, modern mm. performance. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that I uh, compared, I, I saw mixture of uh, uh, through John, Jenny Cash uh, uh, video clip uh, movie and mm. uh, combined with uh, modern uh, from uh, the, that movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it was interesting for me and uh, I uh, watched also a documentary about uh, Johnny Cash and mm -hmm. uh, his uh, life now uh, uh, I think he is uh, alive now. Uh, um, is he still alive? I don't think he's still alive. Mm -hmm. Johnny Cash. Yeah, he died in two thousand three. Ah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. And uh, um, I I found that it is uh, interesting to see um, biography in mm -hmm. in the, in the song. And also, I'd like to add mm -hmm. that uh, country uh, songs uh, we can see in the style Rhodes movies. Uh, mm. a movie uh, when uh, the main plot is uh, traveling on, th on the car, for example, usually on the car, <laughs> uh, through beautiful uh, landscapes, mm -hmm. and uh, they are also, uh, I mean, the main characters uh, usually uh, mm. listening to uh, country music and uh, uh, nature, uh, country music, uh, uh, colorful, this uh, colorful background. It's yeah. uh, uh, yes, yeah. together. It it needs to to watch and uh, uh, hear, listen to together. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, uh, country music is a big part of American history. So if you you like to learn about American culture and history, certainly. Uh, country music people, their lifestyle, the you know a lot of them it's very uh, very patriotic, you know America and this kind of thing. Uh, so these are some of the the top country music singers of all times. So, you know it's not always nice and fun. It sometimes it's about the hardships, the life. You know that's why there's a lot of drinking sometimes, getting drunk and just kind of like wallowing <laughs> in your self-pity and hard times, that kind of stuff. So uh, just kind of depends. But uh, it's definitely something that is part of America. And uh, some people like it and some people don't like it. So you get to decide. And uh, and even the music is a little bit different, you know, over the generations where it used to be more acoustic. Now it sounds, you know, more ele using electronic instruments as well. So... Okay, I'll let you go, guys. Thanks for coming to class, and if you want, listen to that song again. You'll probably understand even more this time. <laughs> so thanks for coming, guys. Thank Take you care. Have Bye. a good weekend. Bye, everybody. Thank you.